who dreaded injections and had refused to come out of her room for a blood group test to take 17 needle pricks on the site of the dog bite. Yes, that's me, who had locked herself in her room and the lab technician had to return without taking my blood group test. From then till now, the journey has been very interesting. Over the years, I've helped many street dogs by being their voice and find homes for them. When I was around four years old, I was already very compassionate about animals. Around two years ago, my friends and I were uh, walking to our everyday park when we saw something moving near a parking spot. As we went closer, we noticed that it was a stray dog. Many times stray dogs do enter our society, but they leave after a few hours. But this was not the case with this dog. The next day we were walking to the same park when we saw some people we knew petting a dog. As we went closer to take a look, I realized this was the same dog from the previous day. They were already calling the dog Tommy. Since that day, we would go down only to be with Tommy. Every day we would be with her, we would feed her, we would train her, we would play with her, we would take her for walks with us. She would follow us anywhere we went. One day when we were with Tommy, I noticed that she wasn't a male, but a sh female dog. But when we tried to change her name, she wouldn't respond to anything else other than Tommy. While taking care of Tommy, my friends had uh, come across a dog who had entered our society and they had asked me to meet her. When I laid my eyes on, on that puppy, this puppy is what you could call a goofball. She was jumping and playing around. And when she saw me, she started doing those things you call zoomies. It's where dogs get excited and start running around in circles. Probably 10 to 15 minutes passed by and when I, deci and when I decided to go home, she had other plans. She started following me to my house and I decided to go where we were and then run home to confuse her a little bit. But when once she saw me run, she ran behind me. I am pretty sure we might have taken four rounds of the square, but she was still walking with me. So in the end, I decided to let her come home. I gave her some dog food, which we always have in our house, and I gave her a doormat to sleep on, and one of Tommy's old toys to play with. And she would either play with me, Tommy, or by herself. If I went down, she will also tag along. If I go to a neighbor's house, she will also come to see what's up. And one day, uh, we decided to name her Honey because she was sweet and her fur was brown. Uh, after a few weeks go by, I started contacting some people we knew if they wanted to adopt her as she was living right outside my door because she preferred staying out than in. One of my sister's friends was wanting to adopt Honey as they had two other dogs which she got along with really well. And the day I dropped her off, I felt a wave of sadness over me. But I was still very proud of myself that I could find Honey a home. I meet stray dogs almost every day in my life, on a daily basis even. But there are specifically two strays who are very mischievous. One of them is Liam. Now Liam is very unique. His fur is completely white and he has a pink nose. And the other one is Milo. And some fun facts about Milo are, one, he is very, very lazy. If you offer him food, he would be too lazy to come and eat. And if you go over to Liam to pet him, Milo will interrupt you and will only want you to pay attention to him and only him.
I've made a difference in society by rescuing and feeding stray animals. During the summers, I used to go out every day and I used to place plastic bowls outside where I live for the strays to drink water out of in the summers because it was very difficult for them to find water during the summers here. In um, India, over 10,000 street animals die from starvation and malnutrition, which is a very high rate. Many NGOs and individuals are working to give these strays a better life and find homes for them. Some people also raise the issue of growing number of dogs in some areas, but we can reduce their reproduction by getting these animals neutered. You might wonder how impactful is my work? Well, people know me. People in my society know me for being compassionate about these animals. Most recently, one of my friend's dads had uh, handed me an injured Asian green bee-eater bird, which I had took care of really well. Before that, my mom had brought home an injured sparrow, which had healed and flew away. People are being more informed to include these birds and animals in their, uh, in their surroundings and environment. I believe I will be able to inspire more people by sharing my tips and stories on how to take care of these trays. And I believe I have a good bunch of friends who have always supported me and have always stood by me to defend this cause. And people should accept the fact that these animals are a part of our environment and are necessary for our ecosystem. And I believe with everybody's support, every mute will have a voice and every homeless a home and happiness forever. Thank you.